New York Yankees fans yet again, it is Felix and And excuse me if I sound under the weather. I was stuck in traffic for maybe close to five hours uh, yesterday in that um, snowstorm. Thank you, Mayor de Blasio. Thank you for uh, telling people to go to school, go to work. That was really smart of you. If you guys didn't know, I was on vacation. Crazy hot weather. Landed. Landed in a snowstorm. Really wasn't moving. So being stuck in a car for uh, about really five hours, you could see why I got sick. So Yankees fans, let's talk about James Caprillion. I... If you have followed this channel for quite some time now, I am a fan of James Caprillion. Sure, you could argue about him being injured, but he's only 24 years of age. The one reason why, one of the main reasons why I like James Caprillion is that he has the look of a baseball player. I don't know how you could explain that, but he just does. People that know about baseball, people that follow baseball, they're just going to know. He has that demeanor to him that he's a ball player. And really, he's a power arm and looks intimidating on the mound. So, when the Yankees traded him for Sonny Gray, I was one of the, really the main advocates out there saying, hey, training for Sonny Gray is going to be a mistake. If you're going to take your chances, take your chances with uh, Justin Verlander, even though he's going up there in age. People didn't want to hear that, and they saw what Sonny Gray became in New York. So if you've been a subscriber to my channel and like my insight, the Sunny Gray situation was one of the main stories that I got right from really the beginning. So there's talk as of now that the Yankees are going to move Sunny Gray to either the A's or the Reds. I can say this in my opinion. I could see the Yankees and the A's making a deal way before the Yankees and the Reds make a deal. We all saw that the A's are a contender. Imagine if the A's re-add Sonny Gray. So on their end, it will make more sense to acquire Sonny Gray than to, let's say, develop James Caprillion and adding him to the rotation to a already to a team that's already a contender. So it makes more sense to add a picture like Sonny Gray that's Major League ready, that has a history with you, that has great numbers in the Coliseum, that can really help your team reach the playoffs again or maybe deeper. Who knows? A change of scenery for Sonny Gray is probably what he needs. In my opinion, I'll trade uh, Sonny Gray straight up for uh, James Caprillion. Straight up. Give me James Caprillion, I'll give you Sonny Gray. I would take a chance with, let's say, a young pitcher like James Caprillion at 24 than to, let's say, acquire a position player from the Reds. There's talk about that the Reds are willing to trade one of their uh, top prospects his name is uh, Jeter Downs. He's a shortstop, but is not a uh, major league uh, ready. So, guys, I would pick starting pitching or pitching way before I'll pick a, let's say, a position player. You could never go wrong with having so many arms. And James Caprillion, I'm telling you guys, if he gets a shot, he is one of those types of pitchers that could be intimidating on the mound. I'm telling you guys. This is why he was highly coveted when the Yankees were trading for Sonny Gray. Every team wanted James Caprilli. It was unfortunate that he got injured. He has a history of being injured. But you take a chance with a pitcher like James Caprilli. So if you could work out a deal with the Athletics, obviously the Athletics just need a few pieces here and there to really, really make themselves a contender, really knock the Astros out of first place. I could see that deal happening. The A's would be stupid not to make a deal with the Yankees for Sonny Gray, and the Yankees would be stupid not to make a deal for, let's say, a James Caprillion, because the Yankees know firsthand what 
kind of history James has. His mother dying from cancer, a lot of hardships in his life. He wanted to be a Yankee, he was heartbroken when he got traded, and he still wants to be a Yankee. So Yankee yeah, says, I have a lot of things to discuss. I'll leave that for uh, future videos. How uh, how Steinbrenner took uh, Manny Machado's words and just blew it up for no apparent reason. I think Hal should leave talking about future players to Brian Cashman. Hey, Hal Steinbrenner is the boss. But in that instance, I do not agree with what he said about Manny Machado. That's like if let's say let's take LeBron James for an example. If the Lakers came out this summer and said, hey, we love LeBron, but we really hate his defense. I think his defense is horrible. He has to explain that. No, you do not do that. You do not say you're going to sign a player and then say, oh, but I don't like his comments here. He needs to explain that. So it's really his future boss already criticizing him so what makes you think Manny Machado is going to want to really 100% sign with the Yankees if his boss is already criticizing him? I really didn't understand that. So I, I like the George Steinbrenner a thousand times more. Really, I, I can't even explain the number of how much I loved uh, George Steinbrenner. I mean, how Steinbrenner just needs to, I don't know, he just needs to be quiet let Cashman do what he does, and comments like that are not going to help the Yankees. That's just my opinion. So in the future, I'll have more videos on that topic. But as of now, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Where do you think the Yankees are going to trade Sonny Gray to? Where do you prefer him to be traded? What players would you want in return? Do you like the deal that they're working on with the Reds, the supposed deal? Or do you like a deal where the Yankees ship uh, Sonny Gray back to the Athletics and maybe possibly get James Caprillion back? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time. Yeah,